Greetings all. Well, I had one of the viewers uh, comment yesterday that uh, I didn't seem to have a video on controlling little fire ants. Well, there are reasons. <laughs> you know, little fire ants are one of the worst invasive species we have here. They're literally just a uh, pain. They hurt bad and there's lots of them and usually when you get bit you get bit by a whole bunch of them at once and the sting doesn't go away very fast. It takes hours. So they are an issue and they're something that we all really need to deal with. Um, there are problems though and the main reason that I haven't wanted to cover this. Uh, I'd say the main one is is that uh, uh, the government here and the educational institutes have produced uh, plenty of good information on how to deal with these little fire ants. Uh, now, little fire ants and fire ants are not the same thing, so you'll find people getting that confused. Uh, we don't really have the fire ant here, we have the little fire ant. And the little fire ant doesn't really build mounds. Uh, it, it tends to have uh, very broad, wide colonies, and it spends a lot of its time up in the trees here. Uh, so treating trees in Hawaii rather than mounds is really the approach. Uh, because it's, well, it's a lengthy and difficult process of controlling them. Uh, and that's the main reason I haven't even wanted to talk about it because every time anybody has asked me and I will tell them, what do you do about fire ants? They'll go, oh no, I got a neighbor who owns property on both sides of me over here is from California. And I have appealed to him over and over to do something about the population of fire ants on his property because they're continuously spreading into mine and I have to battle them back at the margins and uh, on occasion I lose and they make it deeper into my property. Uh, but he's not interested in doing anything about it because he's in California and until he tries peeing on a bush and gets his nutsack bit by one of them he probably won't consider doing anything about it. Um, I can't force him. That would be the first uh, thing I could say about it. If you have neighbors around who you can talk to, you all have them. And so the problem is Puna wide for sure. And so if you can communicate with your neighbors and if they're, uh, you know, agreeable to either take on control or to allow you to go into their property and do control, hopefully at their expense, um, you know, it's figure it out because if you can uh, if you can stop them on the properties around you without having them penetrate into yours you'll be much better off and it's a lot easier i realize that most of us who have pest problems would really prefer to just you know like go out make an application of something and say okay that's it we're done well with fire ants it's not gonna be that way with the little fire ant you're gonna have to continue applications uh, probably for up to a year to be certain that you've actually eradicated the colonies with inside your property. And then you will, after that, have to keep them back at the boundaries if your neighbors aren't worried about them. So it's difficult. And I guess it's one of the reasons that so many people around here just go, oh no, you can't do anything about it. You know, sort of like rats. Uh, yeah. So I, I've successfully controlled rats and I have successfully controlled fire ants, but I'm a very persistent individual and I do understand the rules in this game. You can't break down, the ants will come back. Um, so we start with an insect growth regulator. Uh, the one that's approved for use here in Hawaii is Tango. Uh, and tango is uh, uh, not a poison. Okay, Tango is a chemical that when the ants feed it to the colony, uh, it will stop the larva from maturing sexually. So they will never be able to actually mature another generation when they start eating this stuff. They stay juvenile. Okay, so we start with an insect growth regulator. The ants don't realize they're being fed the stuff. That's one of the reasons. Uh, ants are not all that dumb and they usually figure out when they're being poisoned with a bait. And with fire ants, we use baits. 
they are far more effective when you actually get the ants to eat the stuff. And so we use tango, that's this stuff here. And then the tango is mixed into what we call a gel bait. And the gel bait would be, if you uh, are dealing with, say, uh, one acre, I'll give you a one acre recipe here. Uh, on one acre, you will be utilizing one gallon of material to, uh, to take care of that acre. Um, that would amount to uh, about three quarters of a cup or around uh, six fluid ounces of tango that's mixed then into one gallon of water. Then after it's mixed in the gallon of water, then we begin to add some other ingredients to it. Uh, and there again, there are nice recipes out there on the web. I'm not gonna mix this for you today, but I will tell you that you use xanthan gum, you use vegetable oil, and you use peanut butter, smooth, not the chunky type. And uh, yeah, the, we're using in the one gallon mix, we're using uh, two and a half tablespoons of the xanthan gum, um, six and a quarter tablespoons of the peanut butter, and five cups of the vegetable oil. Uh, this stuff is put in, um, in, uh, well, individually, you start with the one and then you work the other in. You're using a hand drill for a mixer with a, with a paint beater on the end of it, okay? Uh, and in a five gallon pail, and you're mixing the stuff up, you're gonna have to put in one material, stir it in, put in another material, stir it in. And then the material is then put into a ZEP sprayer. This is a ZEP sprayer. Yeah, it won't go through tank sprayers, it won't go through a lot of things because the stuff's pretty thick. Okay, so use that type of sprayer and then you're applying one gallon of the spray per acre and you're focusing it on mostly the tree trunks. So you're going to spray the trunks and the lower canopies of your trees, your bananas and stuff, and coat the trunks with the stuff. As the ants are out foraging, they'll find the bait glued to the surface, basically, is why it's got the gum and the oil to make it waterproof. Uh, and the, the peanut butter is what draws them, and they'll go for it, they'll pick it up, and they'll carry it back to the colony and, and feed it. Now you want it probably use two to three applications with the insect growth regulator um, approximately four to six weeks apart between each application. After that, you start with a bait like this one, which is a chemical insecticide. Anyway, so after that, in four to six week intervals for the rest of the year, you'll be applying a bait like Amdro. Now there are a number of different types of baits out there on the market that will work. Um, many of them are based on insecticides similar to carbaryl. Um, others uh, you can find there are boric acid based baits that will also work. Um, you know, the Amdro is the, is the bait of choice here as far as uh, what to toss around. You apply it to the entire acre in a zigzag pattern in the grid. And you just cover the whole thing with it. And that will eventually wind the rest of the colony down so you don't have much of anything out there anymore. But it's not a simple process and it's not a one-shot deal and it's probably not the kind of thing where you're gonna uh, you know really want to take this on yourself. I you know I, when I talk to my neighbor about his dog it was his name to spray you know well I'm sorry Charlie that's not how you do it and it was uh, it was worthless there was no effect uh, by that so you really have to follow the program. I'm going to post uh, information from the local government educational institutes here uh, into the text below this because the main reason I haven't done any videos on this other than that most of people don't want to bother with this process uh, and so it's a waste but the uh, uh, the instructions that are already out there are far better than any I have and so I'm just going to direct you to some of the links uh, that will show you how to mix up the bait and what the rules are on applying it and so forth okay all righty folks, good luck with your fire ants. Hang loose and aloha.